Today we're talking about the ghost giants. Let's go. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Whew. That's right. My name is Lazius K, and today we're talking about a really awesome new VR app which just got released very recently on the Oculus Quest called Ghost Giant. As the Ghost Giant, you are the protector of the lonely little boy Louis, who's in dire need of a helping hand. Build trust with Louis by helping him overcome big or even gigantic obstacles. Discover Louis's world, meet its eccentric inhabitants, and experience a heartwarming and sometimes heartbreaking story. So when you load the game for the very first time, which only takes about 20-30 seconds, already you'll be immersed in the atmosphere of the ghost giant with some amazing, very beautiful music which was composed by Joe Bile. And you'll be put through a little tutorial, doesn't last very long, but just enough to teach you the things that you need to know so that you can progress along the game. I must admit that the ghost giant's setting menu is one of the most beautiful menus I've seen so far on the Oculus Quest. In the setting, you can adjust the height and do the tutorial. The game provides several languages which you can choose from, including English, French, Italian, Dutch, and Spanish. You can also switch on and off the subtitles, adjust the master volume, the special effects volume, the dialogue volume, and also the music volume. But the music is so beautiful, you're not gonna wanna touch it. In the main menu, you'll also be able to choose the various different worlds and scenes that you will unlock as you play along. It will also tell you which parts of those scenes Specifically, you may have missed so that you can go back a second time and try to complete them. Now let's talk about gameplay. What I really like is the level of detail that the designers had put into this game because it's really top notch. You can go as far as take a peek inside of people's homes and see the little stoves and little fruits and little paintings. I mean, it's just really beautifully done. The story, which is written by Sarah B. Elfgren, is very theatrical. You'll see that not only the music will change, but also the lighting. The light plays a big part in the story, from going from night to dark, but also at times the spotlight will shine in one specific place where it will really add or accentuate the story that she's trying to convey. What I like about this VR experience is that the way that you solve puzzles is very different to most other experiences. It's very subtly done. Generally speaking, in most other VR experiences, they tell you what to do. So that can limit the gameplay. But in the Ghost Giants, it's not like that. Sometimes you have to listen into conversations going on between the villagers, or you have to press on things. It's just not obvious as to what you need to do. But there are various other ways to find out what you need to do. For example, there'll be some holographic things happening so you know that certain pieces have to go in certain places, or you can also thumb, uh, use your thumb to scratch Louis's head and he might reveal a secret now and then. Another element that I really like about this game is the casting of the voice actors because I feel that the voices are representative of the actual characters and it really brings the characters to life. Before I give you my final thoughts on this VR experience, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who responded and left a comment in one of the previous videos which was all about how to keep your VR headset germ-free during a flu season or an outbreak of any kind. Thank you very much and remember, leave your comments below so that I can feature you and give you a shout out in the next video. In my opinion, the VR Giant is definitely worth getting simply because I really had an awesome time. I love the theatrics, I love the sound, I love the voice casting, the story, the lighting. The only thing that I say was a downside to it was the jagged edges, but I don't think this is really the fault of the actual designers and programmers. I think it's just the limitations of the Oculus Quest itself. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and have as many people in VR. Yeah, because that's what it's all about. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.